is actively working on improving the education system. And one of the uh, reforms includes Finnish system of education. So today we're here to talk with the experts from Finland uh, about one of the implications that is used uh, in the reforms of educational system. Hello, uh, it's really nice to meet you. Uh, what is the purpose of your visit to Uzbekistan? Hi, it's very nice to meet you too. My name is Mervi Palander and I'm here to start a collaboration uh, with the Nordic uh, University and um, I'm bringing here uh, two edtech products mm -hmm. and, uh, and today we are talking about the Grafo game. What is the name of application? Could you shortly talk about it? Uh, Grafo game is an early literacy game uh, targeted for children from uh, five to eight years old uh, children and um, and it's uh, made by scientists and uh, it's uh, actually the most researched game in the world. Was this application implemented in other countries and what results did it bring? Uh, yes, we have implemented in many many countries. We are actually uh, we have over four million kids who have used uh, have been using Grafo game, uh, uh, and uh, and we are market leaders in four markets, and we have actually uh, we have uh, done uh, twelve uh, like uh, nationwide deals with the governments, uh, NGOs and big corporations. So in those countries uh, uh, we have this uh, um, Grafo game is um, free to download and kids can play it for free. What is the purpose of this application? It is supporting this kind of a early literacy development. So kids are using it uh, 15 minutes a day, three days uh, per week, so it's uh, 45 minutes in total. We don't recommend uh, to use it like more because uh, kids are quite small when they are using it. And, uh, and in two, three months uh, they uh, learn how to read and write. We know that this project has been also implemented in Nawi. Uh, is it successful so far? Yes, it has been very su successful. I've been working in Navo region as educational advisor. So we piloted a Grafo game in one school, school number 13 in Navo city. And this one teacher, uh, first grade teacher, English teacher, took it to use to have for the class. So the class was 40 students and divided in two. So 20 students used it, eight, uh, seven years old, uh, for two months. So, like Mervi told, uh, 15 minutes a time, three times a week, and eight weeks. And uh, the results were excellent. So, the teacher reported that the atmosphere in the class was excellent, because they had this like English feeling there. And then, and, and then she reported that, uh, that the pronunciation skills were excellent. And she compared the all uh, 11 grades students. So, these first graders' pronunciation is far better than anybody others in the school. So I think the results are amazing. What are the future plans for this application? Uh, future plans are uh, to launch it for all the kids in Uzbekistan mm -hmm. uh, in a collaboration with the Nordic University. Great. We are launching it together um, now in Uzbekistan, together with uh, Nordic University. Uh, in Uzbekistan, it's going to be a paid app. Uh, the price is 299 and uh, it's uh, available uh, through uh, Apple, uh, Apple Store and uh, Google Play and there is no extra costs, no annual payments or anything. So it's a one-time payment uh, for literacy. So I think that it's very affordable. Within the framework of the visit, the guests held negotiations with the leadership of the International Nordic University and the Romanovsky Institute of Mathematics. The State Inspectorate of Quality Control of Education has become the next point in establishing cooperation.
Finland has started integrating ICT and game-based approach in teaching and learning in early 1990s. Navoy and Kashkadaria have been selected as a pilot region for the new approach. Students have given chances to learn math, science and English using technology. Pedagogical change has to be for the young people. They are the precious, most precious value of the, any culture and any society. That means that they ought to be trained for their future. Today, everybody is working with mobile tools. Every profession, you need to know how to use your mobile phone as a learning tool. Already in 1990, uh, 1999, United Nations wrote to the Human Declaration that uh, ICT working skills, so computer working skills, ought to be in the same level than reading and writing. That meant that every child ought to learn how to use computer today, mobile phone, uh, so that they can show their skills and competencies in, uh, by using this equipment in every subject. And that is how the curriculums have been developed in the most countries where the, they have high PISA results, for example. Uh, what ought to be done is the, and there are three things in my mind, and they are teacher training, teacher training, and teacher training. Mm. Because teachers need to be trained how to use these new pedagogical methods. Teachers need to be trained how to implement these new technological and also pedagogical things in their teaching. And teachers need to be trained how they can help the children for their future. But if there is benefit, then the third question is how to teach these skills to the students so that the students can be activated. So the activation of the students is the key element of the future uh, education systems. Because the 21st century workers need skills like uh, cr critical thinking. So what is true and what is not? Everybody knows that more than 99% of uh, internet information is fake. So you need to learn how to, how to choose what is right and what is wrong. Secondly, you need to get the skills of communication. Today everybody is, is hanging in social media but all, also the working is online working in many places and you need to know how to work in the group, how to deal in the meetings online and offline. So there are plenty of these kind of things. And then creativity. The main thing that you can show yourself what kind of uh, skills you have in different platforms and different forums. And then the most important thing learning how to learn because in the future everybody needs to change a job their job more than five times before they are 35 years old so you need to learn totally new jobs so these are the key elements of the Finnish education system and this is our message also for these developing education systems Implementation of different methods and technologies in education plays a huge role. We live in digital technology age where children use technologies, different gadgets, phones, tablets and computers. That's why when it comes to education, the integration of modern technologies is very important. In order to make the process of education more productive, we should take into consideration the interests of the children. Implementing this new technique will make the learning process more interesting. Looking at the experience of the leading countries in the field of education, such as Singapore and Finland, the new techniques play a significant role. At the moment, Uzbekistan, in cooperation with Finland, implemented new methods of teaching with technologies in primary schools in Navoi and Kashkadaria. If we look at the results of this, we can see that the effectiveness of studies doubled. If an average student in primary school learns how to be literate in 5-6 months, by implementing this new platform and technology, we have achieved time of learning process became two times less. Today, education quality supervision 
Norwegian Inspectorate, together with Finland and Nordic International University, tries to increase the implementation of new techniques. We are working on applying Garfor Game and Skill Grower educational platforms into our system.